hey, Bound to Tell here, and it's been about a year since I made a video, but now that I have some more time in my life to dedicate to this website, I think I'll be around here a little more. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, and I hope the however many of you who happen to watch this are as well. Um, but this isn't going to be a highly scripted, really thought out, you know, argument or observation or response like I have done with my previous videos. Uh, rather, I'm going to try and incorporate some uh, unscripted stuff where I just kind of talk to the camera, get some real things in there, and then every now and then I throw in something that, you know, I would be proud of writing, you know? Uh, but this isn't a response to anybody, this is more just to get me back into the flow of things. I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, truth. Uh, specifically, uh, I keep coming across the argument that, you know, people who believe in an absolute truth uh, will, will sometimes use to uh, refute those of us who claim that there are only relative truths. Uh, and they'll, they'll point out that when a relativist says, uh, that all truth is relative, that they are making a claim towards an absolute truth. They are claiming an absolute truth with their, with their basic ideology. But I, I've never really understood that line of thinking because a relativist who believes that all truths are relative would indeed recognize that as being relative to their own experience, their own sensory inputs, their own critical thinking and reasoning, and their own contemplation, and all of the stuff that forms our perspectives, which gives the context to all the truths that we ever claim to have. Uh, the way I like to put it is, the only absolute truth is that there are no absolute truths, including this one, because that's relative based on my experience with humanity and studying the course of humanity. I've never come across anybody who has uh, offered an objective truth that turned out, or rather absolute, to again use consistent terminology, an absolute truth um, that was actually absolute. There's simply too much that could go wrong with the claim of it. And then the claim of an absolute truth always comes from the perspectives I mentioned earlier. And that inherently taints whatever it is. Now, taint might not be the best word because that puts it in a negative light. I don't want to view it like that. It just, you know, there's different filters through which we all see the world, you know, filters over our little lenses and whatnot, to use a shitty analogy or metaphor. Uh, and that's all that the relativist really points out. Uh, and I know that there might be some relativists who might argue differently, but when I say the relativist, I'm referring to myself as the relativist. Um, that's, it, it is a relative truth. We're not, we don't make claims of absolute truth. Do, do, do these people really think that we haven't thought for two seconds about what we've done? Because that's all it takes to realize that it's a relative truth to state that there are only relative truths. It doesn't make it hypocritical, it doesn't make it circular whatsoever, it just puts things, it just says that everything has a perspective. And the fact that I'm saying everything has a perspective comes from my perspective. That's just how it is. And you could infinitely say from my perspective, from my perspective, from my perspective, but it's not going to get you anywhere. You know, for the sake of ease and understanding, we stop these chains and pretend to have an actual truth, when all we have is the truth so far, what we've managed to glean from the truth. You know, it's not an absolute truth that what I'm seeing out the window that you can't see is indeed green from those leaves with mixtures of yellow and there's the sunlight. I can't verify that any of that is actually what it is. I only have my sensory input and the words that we've come up with to describe similar experiences. But that's about as close as it can ever get to any kind of absolute truth, a truth that cannot be questioned, a truth that is ultimately completely flawless. I've just never understood that, I guess. I hope my point was made somewhere in there, uh, and whatnot. Oh, that was a fun, awkward pause. Bye.